boy, we better get ready for a cool down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even it, more. It is about to get a lot colder than we have seen so far, falling below freezing, but it could be worse. We could be talking about That's a few true. feet of snow, yeah. as some of our neighbors uh -huh. will be a little bit uh, later this week and into the weekend. We've got a big lake effect snow event for uh, upstate and western New York, and right in the bullseye there, we are talking feet of snow. One to three feet around Buffalo, two to three feet north of Syracuse. I want to talk about why, why this happens, what lake effect snow is exactly. You've heard the phrase heat rises. Well, so does warm air and warm air is packed with water. So as that warm, moist air rises, if there is a cold wind blowing over the water, what will happen is all those little molecules of water will come together. They'll condense and form clouds. If you got that pattern going long enough, you can see snow clouds begin to develop. And if we keep that strong westerly wind coming in off the lake like we've got these next few days, you can see these really narrow bands of heavy snow set up two to three inches of snow in an hour. So if we get that for four, five, six hours, we are then talking about feet of snow. And it's not just one storm. We could see a few of these storms up around Syracuse, out west, uh, and then up by uh, north of uh, out west towards Buffalo as well as we get into the end of the week and into the weekend. Right now, a little bit of snow falling in western New York. You can see it clearly, right, streaming in off the lake. That is what's going to be happening over these next couple of days. Right now, we are quiet and cold. 41 degrees in New York City. Temperatures will be dropping down to 35. That's as cold as we've been all season so far. But, of course, that wind that is creating that lake effect snow is affecting us too. And we'll see that in the form of wind chills down in the 20s tomorrow morning, even teens to the north and west layer up early hats and gloves. I think you'll want all of that, especially on the kiddos as they head off to school by the afternoon. Not a whole lot better. Temperatures climbing into the mid and upper 30s, but a really chilly day. 45 is going to do it for our high. It's a good 10 degrees below average for this time of year. And we'll get colder still as we approach the weekend. These are our high these would be okay for our lows, but this is as good as we'll get up to 40 on Saturday, 38 on Sunday. The lead up to Thanksgiving looks okay. Thanksgiving itself looks good in the city, but could see some rain on the backside of the holiday. Maybe some snow for parts of the Northeast as well on Black Friday. But again, just uh, looking cold, but dry for us really over the next week.